Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last episode we landed right over there, just for Just a Dude's Where's Kevin contract. Now Kevin is over here, Kevin is mad bro, and uh, we need to get Kevin over to here and get this refueled and back into space, right? Now we know for a fact that that will work, and we're going to hop into the VAB here, we're going to load up the vehicle that we designed last episode for this, and I just want to open that up. That should be the Ridicu Fueler, which I have gotten better at saying. Fantastic. That'll be this guy. It's very expensive, but we're going to get it recovered. Oh, uh, before we do this, we should actually warp to till morning. That would be helpful because we do definitely want it to be daylight for our solar panels. That will be a very, very good thing indeed. So let's let this warp forward a little bit. Going forward on 50x here. If we do the warp till morning, it goes a little further than I want it to. So all we're going to do here is we're going to warp until now. Cool. So that'll do. Let's hop into the VAB. And now we can put the Ridicu Fueler out on the pad. I just want to double check that we turned the brakes up. Yes, we did. Okay. So we will launch this guy. I say launch. It's not exactly a launch, is it? We'll uh, we'll see how that ends up going. The main concern that I have right now is that the wheels get broken. And we have to send a Kerbal over to repair it. We'll see how that ends up going. Do we want Madbro to hop on now or after we go down this ramp? I think after we go down the ramp is probably fine. So let's just very slowly accelerate backwards here. This is an incredibly heavy payload. Incredibly heavy. And we're going to have to roll our way on over there. It is basically flat all the way over. We landed here. So it's basically flat all the way over. We may want to go out around this way, though, so we don't have to go up any of these ramps. That actually might be the best way to go. We're heading down here, and we're going to turn on our brakes action group. That was... That was very snappy on the brakes. Perhaps too snappy. But it didn't break any of the wheels. Okay. Actually, it is the brakes breaking the wheels here. Noted. That didn't collide with anything. It's just the force on the brakes. Noted. Let's revert that back to the launch here, which I'm completely content with reverting this while we're right here on the pad, right? We can reset this at basically no cost while on the pad because we'd be able to just recover it and do it that way. Yeah, I think it would cost us a tiny amount to repair the wheels. I'm just going to turn down the brakes. It's clear that 100% brakes was way too little. 200 is way too high. We're going to try like 125. So we're just going to be accelerating while doing this. We're going to try 125 here. 125. Because, yeah, it's, it's definitely clear that 200% on the brakes is just insane. We know from our last attempts that 100% didn't quite do the trick. Let's bring this on down. Let's see what these brakes feel like. That's still a lot, actually. But it doesn't just straight up break the wheels. Okay, let's uh let's try like 110. Wow. Okay. It still broke this side. It's always breaking this side, but that time the wheel blew up. Okay, let's let's take this back to vehicle. Actually, no, let's put it back on the launch real quick here. Once we get this situation solved, the rest of it should be very easy in theory. I'm going to actually try having it at 100% again. Maybe there was something wrong with the brakes last time and restarting the game in between episodes fixed it. That is a possibility because I did restart the game. So let's try this back at 100%. It shouldn't be breaking it that quickly, right? It, it just jerks to a halt, and that's what's creating the insane amount of force that is breaking the wheels. So it shouldn't be 
I, I want it to break more gradually, but not so gradually that we can't break. It's it's awkward that I want it to break without breaking. It, it's it's the same word but spelled differently. <laughs> In speech, that's not very helpful. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Of course, we come off the ground up here. That's fully expected. But we go back onto the ground as we come through here. Brakes are now on. Okay, that's at 100%. We still come to that hard of a stop. Interesting. Let's try cutting our brakes down to 50% then. I wouldn't have expected that big of a stop. Okay, we can see that 50% is too low. I'm going to try 75 the reason 50% was too low is because we started to move there. And yeah, we can see the wheel stress there creeping upward. So we're going to try 75 here. And these just broke for no reason. Okay. The, the wheel was overstressed. Presumably that means that we need, like, there's too much weight on this back wheel as we go down. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Okay, let's put that back on the pad real quick here. We just need to... Really, we just need to get it down onto flat ground. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. We need to not break until it's on flat ground. Because I'm pretty sure that what's going on here is it's because of the angle we're at. And there's just too much weight pushing down on those wheels. So let's get it down off of the pad. If we need to, we can put it out on the runway. That might actually be a better place to launch this thing. It probably would be. It would be closer. We'd have to run Madbro over there. That could take a little bit, but we could do that under Physics Warp. Okay, so we're going to start accelerating down this. Now, I'm actually using the motor against this this time rather than trying to break it. But yeah, we can see the motor is not keeping up with it, which is unsurprising. Man, those brakes are peppy. Okay, that does it. We are going to revert this back to... Actually, yeah, we're going to revert it back to vehicle assembly. I want to put this out on the landing strip. That's going to be a lot easier. So we are going to leave here. And we're just going to put it on the landing strip. It should be a lot better that way. The real question is, can we get it over to the other location? without any major problems, right? So can we get it all the way over to here? So I want to enter the runway. Please go to the space plane hangar and create a vessel. Right. We have to uh, move it over to the space plane hangar, I'm pretty sure. So we need to go into the VAB. And we switch the uh, switch editor here. There we go. This is now at the space plane hangar. But as we can see, this is way, way, way too heavy for our runway. The space plane hangar can't support vessels over 30 parts. So we would need to upgrade our space plane hangar to do it that way. Other options. Because that would be relatively expensive. I mean, I guess we need to do it anyway. We would definitely need to max out our runway. That's reasonably expensive. And I think we would just need to do that for the space plane hangar. So if we go back into the space plane hangar, can we now put this out on the runway? <laughs> yes, it's getting very expensive for what we're getting paid here. But that's fine. Yeah, we can put this out on the runway now. So that looks good. I don't know why it's jerking to a halt the way it is. That's definitely not what I intended for this to be doing. But it is definitely better for it to be out on the runway. It's going to be closer, and it's going to be easier to get it around to where we want it to go. We're facing this direction. Okay. So I just want to accelerate it very slightly and get it turned towards this. That's about two kilometers. Man, this thing is slow. <laughs> no shockers there. How are we doing on our power? Okay. For now, what we're going to do is we are going to switch over to Madbro. 
No, I don't want to be time warping. We need to move Mad Bro over, right? So we're going to switch to Mad Bro. And Mad Bro, you've got a bit of a run ahead of you. So we're going to quick save here. And we're going to physics warp a sprint on over. It's going to be a little bit of a run. So I'm going to pause the recording here and we'll be back once we are over towards where this vehicle is. See you guys in a moment. Apparently the pause button isn't working. Okay, I did manage to get the pause button working there. That's excellent. And I just wanted to share with you guys the magnificence of Madbro running on 4X Physics Warp. This is amazing, and I love it. Like, look at him flail here. Actually, Madbro's a her, isn't she? So look at her flail here. Like, look at this camera image. This is amazing. I love it. I apologize if you're a little photosensitive to some of this flickering, but uh, I just wanted to show you Mad Bro here. I'll be back in a moment now. Okay, so here we are. Mad Bro is nearly here. Very, very close now. And that's excellent. We can also see that we're about two kilometers away from the rocket. It's actually physics loaded now. When I tried to switch over here, it actually... Ooh, we're rolling. We do be rolling. Okay. So, for now, I'm going to turn our brakes on. I don't actually want to be rolling because we need to get Mad Bro up on top here. So, we're going to extend this ladder quick and we'll hop over to Mad Bro. And Mad Bro will climb on up very slowly. She's very ready to go to space. Mad Bro is stuck. Oh, come on. You can make it through that ladder. What if we retract this one? Oh, she's stuck here. And that teleported her to the ground. Okay. <laughs> come on, Mad Bro. Let's try this again. Hopefully it'll work this time. Yeah, she definitely gets stuck here. Is this close enough? We retract this ladder. She's on this portion, right? But she's stuck here. I think for now we're going to call that good enough. And we're going to turn off of, off our brakes. And uh, the steering is inverted here, but that's fine. I can get used to that. And we'll start accelerating. It's a, uh, it's a process to accelerate this much fuel. <laughs> no doubt about that. These wheels are, or rather the motors here, are still a little bit underwhelming to get this all accelerated. But we need to get turned. And I want to also set this as our target. There we go. Just so that we can be pointed a little bit towards it, right? So that we know what our towards target marker looks like. And just so that it's highlighted like this. So we're two kilometers away. We're probably going to want to extend this guy right on out for now, and we will arm our grab arm. Cool. Oh, for some reason I thought this was the... Oh, this is the 3P6. I thought that that would extend longer. Okay, maybe not. That's fine. This will be good enough. The question is, can we get Mad Bro aboard? And I think the answer to that should be yes. We, if necessary, can rejigger our our ladders with our engineer that's over there. We just need to make our way over first, right? We're currently traveling at 0.6 meters per second. I'm going to quick save here. Oh, we can't quick save while Kerbals are on a ladder. The reason I wanted to quick save was because I wanted to physics warp and I wanted to be able to revert back to the quick save in case we had any cracking issues. I was really hoping that this ladder system would just work. But I should have tested it, for sure. That said, we are getting turned very slowly. Let's try a physics warp here. I definitely don't want to be doing too much of this while physics warped. But we're bringing this right on around. Technically, it looks like we're going to be pointed at anti-target, which is kind of funny. But that's, I guess that makes sense based on what we've got going on here. Most of our engine power is currently going into our turn, right? 
not into acceleration. Our electric charge is nearly gone at this point. So I'm going to stop propelling us forward for the time being. Okay. We're going to stop turning here. Uh, st stop turning. It's, it's not accepting my inputs to stop turning. Brakes on, please. Why is it not accepting inputs? It's still trying to pitch. I'm not pressing the button to pitch or yaw here. Why is it doing this? Go into hibernation. Okay. So with it in hibernation, it's still trying. And it's still draining all of our electric charge. What is happening here? I'm not pressing any buttons right now. SAS is not on. I'm going to try hopping over. To Mad Bro and back. That does not fix it. Do we have an input blocker for some reason? No. All input all input locks are cleared. Doing this takes us back to the middle, but you can see these wheels are doing weird things. Okay, we're pointing approximately the correct direction. I'm going to hop back to the space center here. Right, we're on a ladder. We're going to have Mad Bro hop off of the ladder. Okay. With Mad Bro off of the ladder, I'm going to quick save. Can we jump and grab this ladder? No. So we would need to extend the ladder here. But now I'm going to head back to the space center and hope that reloading this causes it to forget to try to turn. I don't know why it's trying to turn here. It should not be. But let's try to reset our input here. Hopefully this will work. So back we go here. And once this gets loaded in, great. We will then just immediately fly the... Actually, we should, we should fly Mad Bro. There we go. Not the ridicu fueler for right now, but Mad Bro. And we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that that will have cleared some of that. If that doesn't work, a game restart might be necessary. I don't know why it would be necessary. This does appear to be a bug of some sort. What do we got? It does appear to be reset. Okay, it's not trying to turn. Beautiful. So, Mad Bro, go ahead and grab. I don't suppose you can actually climb up here now. Which I feel like you should be able to make it past that, but whatever. For now, this is okay. Look at this thing bouncing around. It is still trying to yaw and pitch. Okay. That's interesting. Well, let's try going into, like, docking mode. Okay. Docking mode is definitely not working. Now it's not steering at all. And it's going backwards. We do appear to have some crackening going on here. Brakes immediately halt us. Yeah, now I'm not able to steer it. We're actually not using electricity at all. These wheels are, like, fully disabled now. Why would that be? Yeah, see, look at this. We're not using motor, despite the pitch being all the way down. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with this thing now. <laughs> we cannot steer, we cannot accelerate or decelerate at this point. We can turn brakes on. Not that that helps us. Okay. Well, I think the first thing that we need to do is get Mad Bro up here. So, what can we do about that? I mean, RCS will not lift us up here. Like, this is not going to have enough thrust to wait. So that's not an option. 
The problem is clearly that we're getting stuck here. Very, very clearly. Yeah, we get stuck right there. What happens if we let go and re-grab? It doesn't fix it. Exactly. Out of curiosity, what happens if we retract this ladder? We just immediately lose our grab. Okay. What happens if we grab here with that ladder retracted and we go up like this to right here? Then we extend this ladder. We're just not going beyond here. It's not grabbing onto this next ladder. But this clearly is grabbed onto it, right? Very clearly. Oh, we can climb down it. We just can't climb up it. What is happening right now? We're climbing an invisible... Now we can climb up it. We can't climb down it. Well, that works. Now I guess we need to do it again. We retract this ladder. We climb down. We're on an invisible ladder. And now we can climb up and past it. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's definitely a bug. There's no doubt about that. That is 100% a bug. Now, once we're up here, sadly, Apparently, we're not able to just climb up and onto here. Hmm. And if we retract this ladder, we lose all of our progress. I think we'll call that good for now. And this guy... We need to fix the steering issue. So maybe if we head back to the space center again... Oh, right, we're on a ladder, and that would revert it. Hmm. So how can we do this? Why is this broken then? Yeah, it's not giving us any motor at all. No steering capacity. Oh, this is in hibernation. I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. That was absolutely the problem. Okay, so let's go up to some amount of physics warp here. Hmm, is, is it being in physics warp that's the problem? I think it might be the physics warp that's the problem. That's very strange, for sure. But we might be able to work around that. Okay. Let's physics warp this and get turned. And yeah, that just means that its default is back over there. Very strange. Wait, is it because of trim? It might be because of trim. Regardless, I can work my way around this, I think. Hang on. Let's get out of here. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's trim. Regardless, let's get into position here and make our way right on down. We can work around this. It's okay. <laughs> oh, this has taken way longer than it should have. This has been ridiculously janky. Okay, it's going to take some time to make our way over there. So let's just do this off camera. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, I think we can... Mm, are we stuck here? We may actually be stuck. Well, 
I'm going to work our way through this off camera. We can definitely make it past this with a little bit of wiggling, probably. Okay, we are heading forward slightly here, so that should be fine. We can make our way past here, and when I come back, we'll be much closer anyway. See you guys in a moment. Okay, it's been a long and arduous process, but we're nearly there. Let's turn the brakes off here. Uh, there we go. Let's turn the brakes off here. And let's make our way over very gently, very gently indeed. I also managed to get Madbro up on top. That was a trial and error process that I don't think I will be able to repeat or really explain. It, it just kind of happened. We managed to get Madbro on top and we are fairly close to the rocket here and we just need to get a little bit more acceleration. So we're just turning on over here and we just need to get a connection, right? And we need to make sure that Madbro can get onto these ladders. That's gonna be very interesting. But we need to get some acceleration. So we're getting the turning done first and we're getting close. I just don't wanna mess with the physics warp while we're doing this because we've seen that there's some really weird results with that. So we're just going to be a little bit patient here while this turns. And then we're gonna hook up and refuel and the rest of this mission will be next episode is the way that this is going to work. So that's gonna be very interesting for sure. I hope that we have enough fuel. I do think we do. We should have enough fuel here. I'd be kind of shocked if we didn't. So we're almost in position now. I want to target like, actually, this is probably good here. Okay, so I'm going to quick save here now that we can do that with Madbro up here. And we can see that we are rolling forward at, at 0 0.2 meters per second right now, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Oh, that was the wrong way to turn. I need to remember this is reversed. There we go. Cool. We're going to head in about like this. Can Madbro jump this gap? I don't know if she can. If she falls down through here, it's bad. <laughs> she, uh, she can fall down through that gap. So that's noted. We're moving at about one meter per second right now. I'm no longer accelerating. We're just rolling at this point. Indeed. So that's looking good. We are going to do some steering. 1.1 meters per second right now. Brakes are going to go on soon-ish. Soon-ish. It was relatively uneventful getting out here. It was just a long journey from the KSC, which is, of course, out over here. <laughs> a long journey indeed. So we're moving in here, and we're going to get this... It's opposite. We're going to get this refueling done soon. Most of this was just a straight shot. I didn't do much steering at all. This thing has a lot of mass to it. No doubt about that. A ridiculous amount of mass. But it'll have a lot less mass later. So that's, you know, good. Do we want to break here? I'm just checking our aim. Okay. 0 0.8 meters per second seems okay-ish. I killed our speed deliberately there because I wanted to make sure that we're coming in nice and slow. Are we grabbed? Hang on. No, I don't think we are. We're not grabbed. Okay, let's push forward. Let's grab this. There we go. Brakes on. Brakes are on and we are attached. Now, the ultimate question. I think we need to get closer. What happens if we turn brakes off? We turn this traverse rate way, way down. And we drop this extension. This should pull this entire craft in on the wheels, and that's exactly what it's doing. Beautiful. The wheels roll forward, and that is what I wanted. I want to get closer here because Madbro is probably going to have to take a jump to that ladder. So, 
Here is the question. Do we think that Mad Bro can make this jump? I'm guessing yes. And of course, we're going to have to do the refuel. So, for now, we're going to extend at least these ladders, but we should probably just extend all of them at this point. We've tested these ladders. We know that we don't get stuck on them, or that we didn't previously get stuck on them. So let's just get these extended for now, and we'll get Mad Bro out there. Uh, this one still needs to be extended. There we go. Okay, so Mad Bro, you will actually need to leave the external command seat. Leave that seat. Okay, now, get around this solar panel, or even break the solar panel, that would be fine. But I want to not fall down between. And let's get a little bit of space here, however much space we can. And Madbro failed to jump. She just fell off. Perfect. Okay, we may need another way to do this, but I don't think we can jump this. No, we definitely can't. We do have additional ladders here. So, how do we want to manage getting Madbro up? Well, we can re-extend these ladders, right? That is a thing that we can do and climb back up here. But I don't think that I can actually replicate getting over this lip. That was, I think, a fluke. So the question is, how can we do this? I didn't mean to let go there. <laughs> okay. I was afraid of that. Now, we did quick save, so we could just load that quick save, actually, and just try the jump again, right? We did quick save right before just to prevent that. It's just that Madbro didn't actually jump. She just fell off the edge. Let's reload that quick save. I think I'm okay with this. Because this is going to be a whole process trying to get Madbro up there. So let's load this in and see what we've got. We do need to move this fuel in still. Wait. I swear I quick saved over there. Day day 48, is it down here? I swear I quick saved there. Okay. Well, apparently we'll have to come in again. I guess I'll do this off camera and uh, we'll get back to where we were. I'm 100% certain that I quick saved that. But apparently that 100% certainty was incorrect. So it's already past time. So I'll get us to the point where we were before I reloaded here. And we'll get Mad Bro hopped over. The idea here is definitely to jump for it. And I think that Mad Bro can make that jump. I'm pretty sure. For now, you can leave... Oh, I keep forgetting. For now, you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, we're going to get Mad Bro onto that ladder. We're going to get refueled. And we're going to lift this thing off and make our way back to orbit. I believe I already did the outro. So for now, I will just say a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kentogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.